Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and this is my Simple Cottage Life. Good morning, everybody. There's no sun today, so I guess my fountain won't be going today unless a little sun peeks out. It's got to have several hours to charge up before it works, but that's okay, that's okay. Look at this beautiful bush. Isn't that gorgeous? We're gonna have some thunderstorms later on today and tomorrow and maybe the next day. And so this will probably be the last time I'll get to see this beautiful, Spiria. I want to talk to y'all about a choice that I made and it was influenced by somebody else that didn't even know they were an influence. So I knew this fella for well over 60 years. He was a member of my community when I was growing up. We were members of the same church. We went to the same school. I knew him. Now, we weren't buddies and pals, but I knew him, and he was a very nice person, very friendly person. He grew up to be a, a leader in his community, a home builder, a wonderful family man, a good Christian man. Well, I had been struggling with, should I get that vaccine shot or not? And I had decided not to, just wasn't going to. And I have seen people online and things talking about getting their shot. And I decided I wasn't gonna do it. I just wasn't going to. So a few days ago, I was on Facebook and I was looking through some groups. They were talking about this man that I knew from my childhood and into my adulthood. And he had passed away. And he had contract, contacted, uh, contracted the coronavirus. Somewhere like North Carolina, he was on a, a went out there for his job, uh, a parade of homes job, and that's where he got this virus. He was hospitalized out there, and I don't know if he made it back to his hometown or not, but he passed away, and like I said, he was only 68 years old. So I started looking online for places to get my um, vaccine. Well, I found one, and it was only a few miles, not, not too much at all, maybe 14 miles from me. And I got to looking at it, and the only vaccine they, they had in stock was Johnson & Johnson. All the others were months and months and months down the line before it would even be available. But I had already spoken to someone about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And they suggested get that one instead of the other one anyway. It's one dose. And this is what they, and this was a healthcare provider. So, and I trust this person very much. And so I signed up for it. And yesterday I went and got my shot. And when I came home later on in the afternoon, I got to feeling a little, really tired, very tired, sleepy. But, but not much. My arm is just a tiny bit sore, but not so sore that it bothers me. I didn't have any other symptoms at all, just, just some tiredness and some sleepiness. But had it not been for finding out about my longtime friend, I wouldn't have gone and gotten that shot. I just probably wouldn't have. He will never know how thankful I am 
for his influence in my life. But we have to do what is right for us to do. We have to do what we think is the best thing for us, regardless of what other people say or do. It, at the end of the day, it's us that we have to rely on to make the best decisions. Nobody else can, should or could tell you what to do. There's lots of comments sometimes, well, you should do this and you should do that. Well, you know, just because we can say what we want doesn't mean we should. So, comments are welcome, absolutely. Encouraged, loved, welcome. But at the end of the day, we all are going to make our own decisions, no matter what. So I don't know if you've had your vaccine or not. I don't know if you intend to. I'm not trying to open up the debate on whether you should or should not. Like I said, like I said, that's that's up to you. It's your business. I did what I thought was right for me, and I feel good about it. And I feel confident that I made the right choice. So. I hope y'all have a great day today. I hope God is good to you. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.